My name is Andrea. I like cats, my friends, and listening to music. I am currently 19 years old and trying to finish up my freshman year of college. School hasn't always been easy for me. Third grade began endless battles between schools, teachers, and myself around how to label me. Eventually, the schools won and I lost my identity. To them, my name is really dyslexia. This is the first on a list of others and was diagnosed in third grade. I'd flown under the radar from kindergarten to second, but when everyone else is reading chapter books while you still mix up B's and D's and you can't spell gain or train, now people are starting to notice that there's something wrong with your brain. In fifth grade, I was given another name. This time, it was dyscalculia. In simple terms, this is dyslexia from math. This new name came about after a year of struggling with basics and not being able to pass a time test. I can do some multiplication tables, zeros, ones, fives, certain numbers of threes, tens, and twos up to twelve. Anything other than that and I will not do well. My final name came in eighth grade. My handwriting had never improved and now is becoming a big issue. The name for this is dysgraphia. The corrective grips on my pencils did not help and teachers would not grade my work because they could not read it. The school passed me on because failing classes in middle school doesn't matter. I was the high school's problem now. High school was tough, but I made it through. I made use of a 504 plan and got to tell the school what I needed to do. I took some AP classes and those all went fine, got fours on those tests, and graduated with a 3.89. Yes, school is tough, but it has taught me a lot. I'm off at college now, making it all on my own. There's only one thing that I want everyone to know. My name is Andrea.